Hey everybody, it's Mark Munciardini, and I'm proud to announce the release of the Cover Action Pro 3.0 Starter Kit. And this is just a preview or a little sample on what you can expect on the full version of Cover Action Pro 3.0, which at the time of this video, it's not yet released, but uh, you're gonna find some, just a, a little collection of assets and mockups that you guys can start using, that, that you can start applying to your business right away. And so I'm excited about it. Let's just go ahead and jump right in here and get started. And I'm at my desktop now. I've downloaded the zip file from the starter kit. I'll just go ahead and double click on that to extract it. All right, so I've got the starter kit in a little folder here. I'll double click on that. And I'll make these icons just a, a little bit larger here so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Now, when you extract the zip file, you're gonna go into the folder and you're gonna see some files here. What you're gonna find is a, a Photoshop version of the mockup as well as a, uh, a JPEG version. And what the JPEG version is for, it's just a little, kind of like a little preview file. So you guys can preview the mockup before you open it up into Photoshop. It's just a kind of a, just a little handy, quick way to, to view the mockup properly on your desktop besides, you know, opening the whole PSD. But uh, let's go back here and I'll just go ahead and shut this down. And so let's check out some of the files here. We've got some boxes uh, or we've got a box, a magazine, a book, a landscape book, and also a devices mockup here. So let's just keep this really straightforward and let's work with something that we're all familiar with, which is just a book mockup. So what I'm going to do is just uh, right click and highlight the Photoshop file, which is the PSD file. I'm going to right click on it here just to make sure you can double click on it if you want to. But uh, I just want to make sure that I open it up with the current version of Photoshop that I have installed. So I'll just go ahead and select CC 2017. All right. I'll press the tab key to get back my tools. And so I've opened up the mockup inside Photoshop. And one of the coolest things about the new, new version of Cover Action Pro is that all the mockups, if you haven't figured out already, they are PSD files. So you guys, there's no rendering anymore. This way you guys can see what the mockup looks like before you actually, you know, before you complete the mockup or before you add your artwork to it. Now, we've kind of moved away from action scripts. The new version of Cover Action Pro is primarily based around Photoshop files and smart objects, okay? We, uh, action scripts introduced so much complexity and technical issues with our business. Uh, we had multiple users that were having technical problems across different computers, different versions of Photoshop, and every time Adobe would come up with an update, we were all kind of in a panic because we didn't know what to expect. And it prevented us from creating new mockups and assets and updating the product. It was just, it was just kind of crazy. Well, not anymore. Uh, this, this makes it so much more simple. Uh, we've got less layers to work with here. Uh, you've got the same control as you did when working with the action scripts. And it's just, uh, they're, it's a much more reliable environment and they're just as easy to use. And I think you guys are gonna love them. So let's just jump right in here. I've opened up this book mockup. And as soon as you open up any of the mockups from Cover Action Pro, you're gonna see a bunch of layers here that are attached to the file or to the document. And there's much less layers now than we had before. Uh, before in the earlier versions with action scripts, and we had a whole bunch of layers, but now the layers are pretty straightforward and easy to understand. And you can see they're they're labeled with names here. Uh, it's very very basic: background, shadow, book, uh, cover, spine, and glare. I mean, most of the book mockups are very straightforward, very simple. But for those of you that are not familiar, uh, if, if for those of you that are not familiar on how to use the smart objects with the PSD files, I know there's some of you out there that already know how to do this, but for those of you that are just getting started or you're not really familiar with how this works, that's what this tutorial is all about. So when you open up a mockup inside Photoshop for the very first time, go over to the layers palette 
and look around on a layers palette and, and just familiarize yourself with this mockup. If you look over on the thumbnails, on some of these layers, you're gonna find a little icon that looks like this. It's at the bottom right corner of the thumbnail. Well, this is just giving you an indication that this is a smart object layer, which allows you to edit the contents of this layer, okay? So let's just say that I wanted to apply my artwork to this mockup. Now, I've already opened up a document inside Photoshop. This is a book cover here that I've opened up, and this is one of the templates that's actually included with Cover Action Pro 3.0, a little podcasting template here that you can use. But I'm gonna use this for this tutorial. Uh, this is a five by eight cover, so it'll match this mock-up perfectly. And again, just keep in mind, the full version contains hundreds of different mock-ups in different sizes, different angles, uh, you know, and, uh, and now we're going to start providing different spine widths for each of the mock-ups, so it's really exciting. Uh, we're gonna keep this really basic. I've got a five by eight cover here. And so what I'm gonna wanna do, I can do this two different ways. So first what I'll do here is, is I wanna make sure that I copy this, my copy my book cover into memory. So I'm gonna come up here to select, select all, and then over here to edit, and down here to copy special, and uh, which is a, a new little, if you're not familiar with the new version of Photoshop, it used to say copy merged at this point, but now we do have a little, uh, a little flyout menu here. And so you'll wanna select copy merged. This way you're copying all the layers into memory. Then let's switch back over to the mockup document over here. And then here's what you're gonna do. So go over to the layers palette, you're gonna find the layer called cover. And then over on, hover your mouse over the thumbnail of this layer. And if you hover over that, it's gonna tell you right away that this is a smart object thumbnail. All you have to do is double click on the thumbnail. It's gonna open up that layer or that smart object in a separate document and now because my cover is in memory, all I have to do is hold down Command V, and that's Control V on the PC, and I can just paste the cover, close the document, click on Save, and the artwork is applied to the mockup. It's that simple, guys. Now, for this mockup, we also have a spine here. So it's not showing much of the spine, but it's there. So let's apply some colors, a color that's very similar to the front of the book on this, uh, this mockup. And I'll show you a really cool way to do this. Uh, if you come over to the toolbar, select the eyedropper tool. And if you uh, click on the eyedropper tool on the toolbar, you're gonna see a little flyout menu here. Uh, it's gonna be this one right here that just says eyedropper tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sample a color or a color value from the front of this book. And an easy way to do this, guys, is just to hover the eyedropper, little eyedropper tool here, over an area or a, or a color that you like, like let's uh, maybe like a little bit, kind of like a darker blue here on the right or on the left side to record and save the, the color information. What I'm gonna do is right click instead of uh, left click and right down here you'll find an option to copy colors hex code so i'm going to select that then what i'm going to do is go over to the layers palette and right here over on the spine layer i'm going to double click on the spine thumbnail which contains that icon and if i hover my mouse over it's going to say smart object thumbnail so i know that's a editable layer Editable, yeah, I think that's a word, editable layer. I'm going to double click on this thumbnail. It's gonna open up the spine in a separate document. You can see it's a one inch spine here. And then I'm gonna come up here to edit, fill. And then from the fill dialog, I'll make sure that color is selected. And then right down here, you can see I've done this before. I'm going to select the hex value input area down here and I'm gonna hold down Command V, which is Control V on the PC, and paste that color, click OK, click OK once more, and then close this document by clicking on a little X on the tab up here. It's gonna ask me if I wanna save it. Yes, I do. And the color is applied to the spine of this book. Now, 
with the mockups included with Cover Action Pro, they're all very, very straightforward and easy to use. Uh, there's some similar things that you guys are used to, like the glare layer, or you can, sometimes uh, it's been called the shine layer, which is just a, it's just kind of a, almost like a little highlight in the corner of the book. And you can control the opacity of this layer. Uh, you can see this is uh, before, if you look up here on the corner of the book, and if I turn on that glare layer, it just gives it a little bit more shine. And if I scroll down here, we've got a shadow layer. The shadow's completely on its own separate layer, so you can control the opacity of that shadow. You can make it darker if you want to, or lighter, or you can completely turn it off by clicking on the little eye icon just to the left of the layer. Uh, maybe if you wanted to, you know, for for certain situations where you wanted to crop the book down very tightly and place it somewhere where you didn't want the, the shadow. Um, and that's about it, guys. It's really, really simple, very straightforward. Uh, if you want this shine or this glare to be a little bit more stronger, you can just grab this glare layer and drag it to the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers palette. And when you do that, it's just gonna make a duplicate, making that shine just a little bit more brighter there on that corner of the book, okay? Now, let's jump over to another mock-up in the set. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and close this out. Uh, I'm not gonna save this at, at the time. And let me just go over to the finder window again. And let's open up something a little bit more complex like this devices mock-up here. So I know a lot of you guys requested uh, you would like uh, mock-ups to display web pages and different things like that. So we've created and, and we've provided a, a whole set of, of, of devices in the full version uh, of Cover Action Pro 3.0. So what I'm gonna do is just right click and open with. All right, so we've got this opened up here and you can see right away that each of the different elements and devices inside of this mockup are in their own separate groups, nicely organized in their own separate groups. You can expand these groups in Photoshop and just come in here, make little adjustments and, and, and then close them again. It's just nice, nicely neat and organized there. Um, but so let's change one of these devices. So how about the iPhone for an example, or the cell phone there at the bottom right? Uh, what I'm gonna do is just go over here and expand this group. And if I come down here, I can easily see that this is the cover of the phone because it looks exactly the color and everything is the same, but it also contains that little icon that little smart object icon at the bottom right corner so what i'm going to do is just double click on that and it'll open up this layer into a separate document now let me see if i do have i should have a little screenshot here of an iphone so what i'm going to do is come up here to edit down here to copy and then back on photoshop over here to edit down here to paste there we go and then i will close out this document click on save and that is applied to the phone. Look at that. And these are actually not photographs, folks. These are designed right in Photoshop with the new 3D technology and everything that Adobe has created. It's just amazing. So the detail with the graphics and everything are, are really out of this world, so. Um, but if I'm looking at this phone here, you can see I have the glare, which is on its own separate layer, so I can turn that off if I want to. Um, so I've got lots of control there. Uh, the shadow for all the devices are on their own separate layers. You can adjust the opacity of these shadows or you can just turn them off completely. Very straightforward, very easy guys. Uh, and all the other devices in this mockup work exactly the same way. So if there's any other questions, uh, if you would like to uh, ask me anything about the, the starter kit or any of the mockups in Cover Action Pro, uh, just send me a comment below on this blog post and I'll be sure to get back to you uh, and reply. And uh, so you guys make it a great day and uh, we'll see you on the next video and I'll keep you updated on what's going on for the new version of Cover Action Pro. So you guys take care, bye-bye.